Okay, so this is the second day of Unit 2, and we're working on fractions again. We're working on simplifying and changing an improper fraction to a proper fraction. And let me just zoom in here. Oops, too much. Okay, so I'm just going to do a few of these. And what we're doing is we're simplifying, and what we're looking for is something that will go into both of these that will help us reduce. So what can we divide both of these by to make it a smaller fraction? So we're making it, we're simplifying it. Let's do an easy one. Let's do 10 and 40. 10 fortieths. So what could we divide into there? We could divide 10. So we're dividing 10 into both of those. And then what do we have left? Well, we have 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 10 divided by 40 is 4. So this one is 1 fourth. Okay. All right. Oh, this is another easy one. 25 um, four, uh, fortieths. It's supposed to be a dividing sign. Okay, so we're going to divide by 5. And 5. So 5 divided by 25 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, that is not good, but you can see it. All right, what if I don't see one? What if I don't see, like, 16 and 28? Well, get your, your, get your, um, your planner out. Get your planner out, and you can use the multiplication table. You can't use a calculator until next trimester, but you can use the multiplication table. And I have my planner on your same one as you have right in front of me. And what I want to do is look down, let's see, you know, 2. 2. Does 2, look down the 2 column and see if 16 and 28 are in there. Can we, can we divide it by 2? And yes, we could. So let's do that. Let's divide 16 and 28 by 2. So divide, I'm going to divide both of them by 2. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. And 16, or uh, 2 divided by 28 is 14. Okay, now, hmm, can I do it again? I could. I could divide it by 2 again. Because I know 14 and 8 can be divided by 2 again. So if I divide those by 2, I'm going to do it over here. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, so that is as low as I can go. There's no more that can go into these two the same. They're both, there's nothing that can divide into both of those. So what this was, what 8 fourteenths is compared to 16 28 is an equivalent fraction. They're all the same. It's just that these have smaller numerator and denominators. Okay, so you can use your multiplication table. All right, let's go to the next page and take a look at this. Okay, renaming an improper fraction as a mixed number. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's just pick one. Let's pick, let's pick this one because it's small. And we have to ask how many of the denominator can go into this. Okay, so the denominator is how many it's broke up to. So let's just, I'm going to draw a picture for this one. It's broke up into two. And we need nine of those. So how many... Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if I take and count, the top number means how many of these pieces do I get? 
and the pieces are broke up into two. The denominator means how many are am I breaking it up into, and the top number means how many do I get. So I get this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now how many whole ones do I have? I have one whole one here, one whole one there, one whole one there, one whole one there. I have four holes. Okay, and then I have one partial. I have one part of a whole, which is the definition of a fraction, part of a whole. So one part, and out of, they're broken to twos. Now we could do that for every single one. We could draw pictures. This one was broken to 18. That gets a little harder, though. It's a little harder when it's broken to 18. So, but when we're broken to 4, so, but there's a, there's a different way. We can try it a different way. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, that's probably better. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. Okay, so let me show you the, the way that you do it with numbers. Okay, you ask how many of the denominator can go into the numerator, because these are the holes. So how many could go in there? How many holes can we go in there? Well, we could have two holes. That's 10. So we could have 2. So 5 divided by 14. 5 divided by 14. Oh, my gosh, this is hard. 5 divided by 14 is 2, and I have 10. And then if I subtract that, I have 4 left over. Okay, I have 4 left over. So that's my parts. I have 4 parts left over. So I have 2 holes and 4 parts left over. So what I'm going to do is those parts that are left over, they go here. Because that's how many parts I have left over. And then how many is this out of? 5. There's my 5 there. So this 14 fifths equals two holes and four fifths, four out of five. And you do the same thing. Now, some of these get a little bigger. So use your multiplication table if you're not as good on your facts. All right, so eight goes into 57. I'm looking down my eight column. And look, oh, 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 7 is 56. So I have 1 left over. So this equals 7 holes with 1 left over out of 8. All right, now you should check and find those down here. 1. 7 and 1 8. There it is. So that's G. 12 is used. A G is used. And 10 is uh, 2 and 5 fourths. 2 and 5 fourths. 2 and 5 fourths. 2 and f I'm sorry, 4 fifths. Right there. That's used. So check your work as you go. And if you still are having trouble, there shouldn't be any crying or fighting at the table. If you're having trouble and you're not able to find, figure it out, Watch some videos, and if you still can't figure it out, come see me in the morning. I don't want kids to be at the kitchen table all upset with mom or dad or themselves. So if you can't figure it out by watching some videos and watching this video, um, come see me in the morning. All right? There are lots of videos out there on fractions, so try a couple of those. If that doesn't work, come see me in the morning. All right, have a good night.